Hey, Ben, it's Anthony from GLAD. Good to see ya. Nice to see ya, how are you? Good, the last time I saw you, we were with Casey Musgraves at the GLAD Media Awards, not bad. Yes, cooking under those the hot lights. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, but listen, this film, The People We Hate at the Wedding, is exactly what I needed. I needed a raunchy, something to laugh at, but also have a little heart to it. Um, I love that we're also getting some queer representation in the kind of raunchy or comedy vibe, right? But before we get started on that, what kind of wedding person are you? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Are you the drunk person at the bar? What's your vibe? That's a good question. I think <laughs> I can I can fall on either side. I think it really depends on the vibe that is curated. I really love a wedding that's meant to be fun and loose and like actually celebratory of people love in a way that feels like specific to them. I think that yeah. I've been to a lot of weddings that are a little stuffy and formal and you feel a little removed from the relationship, but I've also been to ones where I feel totally let in um, and I've had a blast. I love to dance, so any wedding that has good dancing, I think is a pretty good one. Okay, good to know. All right, with this film, uh, like I said, the people we hate at the wedding, it's kind of this crazy, wacky, blended family. Um, but like I said, it's so great that we've got some queer representation. Your character is gay, is in a relationship, uh, at least at the beginning. I mean, we'll see what happens with that. But um, what what was it like for you to kind of do something that is so funny and fun, but also inclusive for our community? Um, it was wonderful. I mean, I think I, I, took for granted, at least up until this point, how few opportunities I've had thus far in my career to play queer characters. I did get to play Peyton in The Politician, who is kind of pseudo-queer and doesn't really, in, in this kind of like Ryan Murphy utopia where we don't really talk about sexuality, which is amazing. But um, to play someone who is just gay, like I am, and uh, is the closest to my you know, own demographic that I've ever played in terms of like, he's close to my age and he's much a lot like me, it was just really, like relieving, like there was like kind of like a weight off in a way that I think you don't necessarily always realize as a queer actor um, playing uh, roles that aren't queer a lot of the time. Um, there's such a relief and like there's a whole box of tools that you get to use when you're playing somebody queer as a queer person that you kind of have mastered keeping a lid on uh, in a lot of the parts of your life and career. So it felt so freeing to just kind of like let it wide open and enjoy the, the you know that sense of humor and that tone and that being you know close to myself and um as you said doing something that has no you know traumatic element whatsoever no like oppressive element or depressing element it's just like a modern queer person dealing with a relationship um it's just refreshing it was so fun and, and it felt very forward moving and you know positive and i think that the way especially like all of the like sexuality is handled in terms of you know being able to like laugh with it and add it in a way that you do with all sexuality and raunchy comedy but not make a joke of it or not necessarily like you know i just think that in terms of like the 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 queer sexuality the the that line was 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 written very well i really appreciate it yeah and you know with that said did you feel like you know because you said you know it is kind of a similar experience you know a character did you feel like you could you know, maybe like give any notes, be like, no, actually, I think like this is how it would be, or he would react this way. Yes, totally. Uh, Claire was <laughs> very um, open to both Karen, who plays my boyfriend, and I being very in vocal and involved in terms of like making sure that it felt that the relationship, uh, both in terms of the sexual sequence and I don't want to give too much away, and just the relationship in general, um, were, felt true and authentic to us, and 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 was um, just left a lot of space for us to to feel like we could we could speak up. But also I think just in terms of the writing from the get-go and the way the characters are drawn, they feel like, you know, real people that I know. And um, again, that aren't so far from myself and people in my life. And so, um, yeah, I definitely I definitely felt uh, free to, to give my two cents and make sure that it felt like a, a queer person one might actually know. That's great. And you know, no spoilers, but the film is, I'll just say this, sex positive, which we love. Um, did you, were you blushing during any of that? Did you like it? Were you laughing? What, were you, you know, doing, you know, sit-ups before the scene? I don't even know how I would do something like that. Um, no to the sit-ups. Um, <laughs> and I'm very glad to be a representative of normal people's tummies. Um, <laughs> um, but I, um, of course there were some nerves about it because I just haven't done many scenes like that. But the, the, the way it was written is so funny. And, 
you know, we had a whole rehearsal, Julian, who plays this other character that people will meet, uh, and Karen and I, uh, with Claire, on like a weekend, just the three of us just talking through the scene and, and really blocking it out in our heads and making sure everybody was aware and comfortable with, you know, all the different sections and very specific about what was needed and who was wearing what, and just so that everyone knew exactly what to expect, so that on the day, we could actually just really enjoy the comedy of it. And um, Karen is a really brilliant improviser. Um, and uh, just given the nature of, you know, a comedy, you can't stick around forever for three hours, but so not, not all of it's in there, but just okay. watching him play and, and, and throw things out. That's my greatest memory of the scene is just how funny he was and getting to laugh at him and try not to ruin the scene. Maybe we can get something for a blooper reel or something that is extended scenes, right? I'm into that. <laughs> um, but let's talk, I mean, this film, okay. When it comes to comedy, geniuses i mean okay alice and janney plays your mom kristen bell plays your sister i mean it really doesn't get much better than that what was it like to you know get to have really crazy comedy scenes with them but i mean it looks like it was a lot of fun it was yeah it was such a gift i mean i think that was one of the biggest draws to me when i attached even before i knew who those other two characters were going to be were those two relationships with, with the mom and the sister and in my dreams, I couldn't have picked a more wonderful women, both of whom I've been a huge fan of forever, like all of us, um, pe people in general, but queer people especially, both of them. Um, and they both come from the theater, so there's, I think we had a really nice place to bond from. Like, we had something to really connect over and immediately feel really warm um, with each other. And I knew them both peripherally before this, but to get to really spend some quality time um, definitely was the highlight of the experience, the stuff that we got to do uh, together. Um, because in the film, as you know, people will see, it's very, uh, very much like kind of a trifecta of stories for a lot of it. And then finally, uh, somewhere in the middle there, we get to actually connect and be together, all three of us. And I think arriving at those scenes felt so um, wonderful. Uh, and they're both just like the most veteran veterans you can imagine in the sense that they obviously are very famous and successful, but they're just such consummate professionals and they love the work and um, they haven't lost sight of that, either of them. And so it's, it's uh, they're inspiring people to, to be around and they're both just really silly and funny. I bet they are. And you know, with this genre, which I love, like I said, it's kind of raunchy comedy, out, you know, kind of wacky, outrageous, but also part to it. That genre is something that I have loved so much, but I like to think about when I was growing up, I never saw anyone that was like me reflected, at least in a prominent way, like your character is. I mean, how important is it to have that inclusion and continue to be growing our our stories, you know, in genres like this? A million percent. I feel the same in terms of yeah. the fact that anytime there was a gay character, it was either, if it wasn't, you know, an, as we were saying, a, a somewhat traumatic or oppressive or, you know, problematic story. Even if it wasn't that, it was, the character was entirely, their whole personality was the fact that they were gay. Like their their queerness was the only reason for them to be in the film uh, in a lot of cases um, in the past. And so I agree that it was so wonderful to read the script and just see that that's just part of the character and that's part of who he is. And it's more about his relationships with his partner and with his siblings and with his mom. And um, it just was so heartening, as you're saying, to see that in a film that's just fun and silly and warm and raunchy and all of those things. Um, but I do think it's, it's, it's even as it gets more uh, unconscious in a really good way, this kind of representation, I do think it's still really important um, and necessary, uh, particularly, which isn't to say that it's a hard and fast rule. And I think there's all kinds of, you know, projects and places on the spectrum where there are exceptions to this. But I do think seeing queer people play queer roles is a really, really important thing. And I think um, it's something that hasn't been very common and in a really wonderful way is becoming more and more common. I just saw Rose, you know, last weekend and it was so wonderful to see in a way that I didn't necessarily expect. It was really moving just to see yeah. all people playing themselves and telling their own stories. Um, which again, isn't to say that in the right scenario where there's a gay creator or a gay director or a gay writer that there can't be a wonderful actor who isn't necessarily queer playing a, a queer role. But I do think um, to balance out the opportunities, it's been wonderful to see more queer people playing parts. So I'm really honored to be 
in that zone now playing playing you know my own experiences i love that and you know with bros i think you know it like i agree with you i, I went into that and it was so hilarious so i was like oh my gosh there is like cute heartfelt moments but you know i, I think it's bringing up a conversation you know i don't think it did as well at the box office as we all would have loved but i think it still makes it so important for like films like this that we point it out and say like no we need this representation we want to hear these stories would you agree with that Absolutely, yes. And I think, you know, hopefully word of mouth will turn that around with bros. But I, I do think no one project should have the pressure of, you know, being right. the, the, the flag, the planted flag for like queer stories are worth telling. And when queer people tell them, I think it's just one of hopefully many, many queer, great, funny stories that we'll get. Um, and um, I think it's a great example, but I don't think it has to be the end all be all. I think it's just a great film. Um, so hopefully this can just be another one of those um, queer library films. <laughs> I love it. Um, you know, I was thinking about, I was looking at Instagram and you just wrapped up touring. You were all over the place. So great. Um, it's such a different world for you to do like this kind of like comedic acting versus your on stage persona, which is so fierce always. How do you kind of like describe and, you know, balance the two? Um, that's a great question. I feel like since I've had the opportunity to experiment in both zones, I feel like I've learned to appreciate the other in the sense that when I'm on stage doing my own music, there's such a freedom in terms of being able to be entirely myself, but also there's a real vulnerability in that because there's no, um, there's not even a little bit of a protective layer of like, this is a character or this is somebody else's story or someone else's words or someone else's story. It's just entirely myself which is wonderful, as I said, but also can be very, um, it's just not sustainable for me to do that all the time because I do, you know, it's, it's just a lot of exposure of self. And so there, you miss a little bit of that protection of your own, you know, person. And so to get to go and have moments of that and really like give myself in that way and then have experiences like this where, um, you know, of course you're still giving yourself in a certain way, but you do get to have the comfort and the, um, the structure of someone else's, you know, at the helm here, I'm I'm a cog in somebody else's wheel and telling someone else's story and just get to focus on my own work and, you know, being funny and creating a believable person. And um, it's just a really nice different muscle. And then when you flex one for a certain amount of time, it really makes you miss and appreciate uh, the other. I'm still keeping my fingers crossed for a, a Ben Platt, Casey Musgraves collaboration. I mean, uh, you and me both. I mean, <laughs> that's the top of my list. It's like Beyonce, Casey, and Adele. Texans only. Well, yeah, and Adele, but... <laughs> um, well, Ben, uh, it's been so great to catch up with you. Uh, congrats on this film, everyone. Uh, please check it out. You will love it. It is called The People We Hate at the Wedding, and it's going to be streaming on Prime Video starting November 18th. You'll laugh. Uh, you might blush. You might cry. All the things. Uh, but, Ben, very good to see you. Yeah, you too. Thank you.